this function. And I feel that you know it's good to put this in this book. So it's a one year happening since the earthquake, and much hasn't really happened to better the country itself. So um, it's kind of like my ode to Haiti, a short ode to Haiti. So it's called uh, Ayat Shedi. So people who don't know uh, French or Creole, Shedi means love. So uh, basically, Haiti, I love you. I don't know about you, but I will never forget my first. She helped build and mold me into who I am today. And with that blueprint, giving others the courage to do what was right at a time when people actually thought how they were living was right. Never being ashamed of your accent and your dialect, teaching me how to communicate with you by dancing to Kompa and Zook until I was able to learn a little bit of Creole. And like any, any new language, I just wanted to know how to greet you. Sac passe. Admiring your beauty and strength, just look at all the beautiful children that you gave birth to and raised. Ones like Michelle, Desalines, and Toussaint, to name some. And just to remind them about their heritage, you showed them Neg Mawon. You have every right as a mother to be proud of all your children, even though few of them weren't obedient to their mother so pleased. Don't be ashamed just because a few of your children got caught up in the politics, forgetting about you and the rest of their siblings, thinking about only themselves. I know that it hurt and pained you daily, how just a few of your children became so money hungry. And to have some of their siblings trying to survive with no money, water, and food, knowing how much it probably pained you because I know how you raised them with culture, love, pride, strength, dignity, and respect. And even after this recent shakeup, I believe there is still a chance for us to make up, not just for lost times, but to make you beautiful again, so that everyone in the world will want to see and spend time with you. It's the least that I can do, because I never forgot my first love, and I never will. Ayati, Sherry.